Now I know we're all brought up to believe that LDL cholesterol is bad, but in a preliminary study which could actually turn the whole world to cardiovascular disease on its head, it turns out, and I'll read you the headline to the study because I'm not going to um, embellish it, oxidized LDL may actually be a good guy, which would be a huge whoops for the rest of the medical community. And this article was published in the August issue of the Journal of Lipid Researches 2014. Now normally what happens or what we believe uh, is that oxidized LDL, to read your their quote, moves rapidly into the arterial walls and engorges them with cholesterol, explained Meyer, who is the researcher. Cholesterol ultimately converts into plaque block in the arteries or worst case scenario, rupturing and sending clots into the bloodstream causing heart attacks and or strokes. What we're normally taught, wipe it out. It's old medicine and it may be a whoops if this science right here is validated. What they discovered was this, and it's the exact opposite. Based upon our analysis, we were surprised to find that instead of increasing the amount of cholesterol uptake and accumulation in the macrophage foam cells, mildly oxidized LDL almost completely prevents increases in cholesterol, says Dr. Vander. Weth Susan, which I'm probably mispronouncing his name, but that's the best I could do right now. So, where we thought LDL was the criminal, or oxidized LDL, I should say, and causing cholesterol to accumulate, block, and everything else like that, turns out, if this study is correct, that basically oxidized LDL is just at the scene of the crime because it's trying to help. It's the good guy. And of course, when you come to think about it, the doctor also said this. If demonstrated that oxidized LDL actually has a preventative effect on the accumulation of cholesterol in the arterial walls, it may be possible to create a, basically another drug from oxidized LDL. So what does that mean? You take one drug to lower LDL, then another drug to mimic the effect of LDL? I don't know. But to think about the bright side, it was the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association which furnished a conflict with the Mayo Clinic recently because, when you think about this, the ACC AHA cholesterol treatment guideline recommends prescribing the strongest statins at the highest doses to men older than 65, even those with no history of heart disease or any major risk factor for heart attacks. And with normal cholesterol levels, men this age will be classified as high risk only on the basis of age, 65 or older. The Mayo Task Force found no evidence, Mayo Clinic, good guys, no evidence from clinical trials to recommend treating people only on the basis of age in the absence of risk factor, high cholesterol, or inflammation. So the American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology, may want to take a note if LDL is a good guy and your policy is to basically keep it as low as possible, well that's a consequence that basically I don't want to have to even think about. Thank you once again.